Welcome everyone. Today our lesson will be on cross products. But first, why are cross products so important? Generally in physics, you will encounter two types of physical quantities. You have scalar quantities such as mass, area, distance, that has only a size or a magnitude associated to it, and you have other quantities such as displacement, forces, velocity, momentum, angular momentum, which has both a size and a direction. Now, typically, there are two types of products or multiplications in physics. You have scalar products, as well as you have vector products. Now, when you are multiplying two vectors, you follow a different set of procedures, which we are actually going to discuss in this short lesson. Now, let's say we have two vectors, A and B, with a common point of application. Let the angle between vector A and vector B be theta. Then the cross product of A and B is denoted by A cross B. And the cross product between A and B is defined as the product between the magnitude of vector A multiplied by the magnitude of vector B, the sine of the angle between A and B, a unit vector that is perpendicular to the plane containing A and B. Now, this is the direction of our unit vector. It's perpendicular to the plane containing vector A and vectors B. What does this mean? This implies that the cross product between A and B is perpendicular to both A and B. So this will be C equal to A cross B. Now keep in mind that C is perpendicular to A. C is perpendicular to B. If you want to look at this keenly, you will notice that A cross B is the same as A bracket B sine theta n. Now, the vector B can be resolved into two components. You have a component, this will be B cosine theta, and this will be B sine theta. So geometrically, the vector product between A and B is the magnitude of A multiplied by the perpendicular component of B with respect to A multiplied by a unit vector perpendicular to both A and B. Now, to determine the direction of the vector product, we use what we call the right hand rule. If you sweep your right hand from vector A towards vector B, your thumb will automatically point in the direction of A cross B, which is always, for example, if this is vector A and this is vector B, then A cross B will be pointing upwards. So that vector will be perpendicular to the plane containing A and B. So keep that in mind. Now also, also, see that if you have, this is our Cartesian coordinate system. This is I, J, this is K. The angle here is 90, the angle here is 90, 
and the angle there is 90. So I cross J will be equal to 1 1 sine 90 degrees multiply by unit vector perpendicular to I and J which is K this means that I cross J is equal to K so if you look at this there is a rule of thumb I cross J gives K J cross K gives I and K cross I gives J. In other words, I cross J is equal to K. J cross K is equal to I and K cross I is equal to J. Now, because A cross B is equal to negative B cross A implies that K cross J will be equal to negative I I cross K will be equal to negative J as well as J cross I will be equal to negative K now this will come in handy pretty soon suppose a is equal to a x i plus a y g plus a z k and b is equal to b x i plus b y g plus b z k then a cross B will be equal to this is I J K A X A Y A Z B X B Y B Z which essentially is equal to I A Y a Z B Y B Z minus J A X A Z B X B Z plus K A X A Y B X and you could actually further simplify that to become I bracket a y b z minus a z b y plus j you have a z b x minus a x b z plus K bracket A Z B Y minus A Y B X. Now this gives you A cross B. Thank you.